Today, we're talking about use case diagrams. We'll look at what they're used for, what the various symbols and notations mean, and go over the basics of how to get started building them. A use case diagram is a graphical representation of what a system must do. It uses simplified terms so as to be easily understood by laypeople such as stakeholders. A use case diagram is a dynamic or behavior diagram in the unified modeling language, meaning they emphasize what must happen in a system being modeled, as opposed to a structural UML diagram which focuses on things that are contained in a system. Use case diagrams model the functionality of a system using actors and use cases. Use cases are a set of actions, services, and functions that the system needs to perform. In this context, a system is something being developed or operated, such as a website. The actors are people or entities operating under defined roles within the system. Use case diagrams are valuable for visualizing the functional requirements of a system that will translate into design choices and development priorities. They also help to identify any internal or external factors that may influence the system and should be taken into consideration. They provide a good high-level analysis from outside the system. Use case diagrams specify how the system interacts with actors without worrying about the details of how that functionality is implemented. Let's check out some basic use case diagram notations and symbols. The system's boundaries are represented with a rectangle, which will contain your use cases. Actors will be placed outside the system's boundaries. Use cases are signified using ovals. These ovals are labeled with actions that represent the functions within the system. Actors are the users of a system, represented by this actor symbol. An actor specifies a role played by someone or some other system that interacts with the subject. Illustrate relationships between an actor and a use case with a simple line. For relationships among use cases, use arrows labeled either uses or extends. A uses relationship indicates that one use case is needed by another in order to perform a task. For example, in this credit card processing diagram, the view order form use case is needed for the calculate total use case. An extends relationship indicates alternative options under a certain use case, such as this relationship between place order and credit card rejected. It's easy to make a use case diagram using an automated drawing tool like SmartDraw. You can start with one of the included use case diagram examples and make it your own. Or use the blank template which has all the basic symbols docked to the work area and the tools to connect everything at your fingertips. Here are some tips to consider as you build. When thinking of use cases, think of the end goal of a user. They don't want to log in or sign up. That's not a use case. The use case is more like make a purchase. Actors don't have names. They're not Bob. They represent the role of someone interacting with the system like customer or shipping. Keep your labels short and the size of your use cases consistent for a professional look. For a more detailed implementation of a user's goal, use a sequence diagram, another UML diagram you can build quickly with SmartDraw. Those are the basics of UML use case diagrams. We hope you have a better understanding of how they work and how to start making your own. Thanks for watching.